the, the rest of the Muslims or disbelievers. What occurs with the body? And some people ask the question, if the body is consumed by a wolf or a lion in the wild or predators in the wild, or if the body is drowned and disintegrates, fragments into the sea, where does the punishment of the grave occur? The response is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserves a part of the body which is referred to as ajabu dhamb, the base of the spine, which is known as the coccyx bone. This bone remains. Does it mean the entire bone remains? No, a fragment, a, even a small fragment of the DNA of that bone remains. Wherever that fragment may go, it has a connection with the soul. So for instance, a person dies in the wilderness. His body fragments and disintegrates into the soil. When his body fragments and disintegrates into the soil, someone decides to make a brick from the soil. They make a brick and the brick is placed in a house. The person's remnants are found in that brick which still have a connection with the soul. Then, even if the building was demolished and the brick disintegrated into, into the soil again, the remnant will remain. Likewise, if a, if a predator eats that part of the body, excretes that part of the body, the part will disintegrate again into the soil, meaning everything will go back into the soil. <clears throat> then on the Day of Judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down ma'ul hayat, the water of life. This water of life is not um, like the water on earth. It enters every nook and cranny, every part of the earth. And it reaches the remnants of the coccyx bone, the ajabu dham, and from that the body is remade. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recreates the body. This is the response to those people who ask what happens to the, to the person in the grave once the body has fragmented. Of course, the person experiences the viewing of Jannah and Jahannam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to reflect on some of those things which have been mentioned. But before